two hours later. I really oh. Alright, so as you can see, the side markers are on right now. Um, even with the daytime um, running lights, the side markers are on, and it's something I don't like. Um, pretty much, you see it on the newer vehicles where they're not on. So, what I'm gonna do right now is code them out, and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use. And pretty much, I'm gonna list everything that you need, how much it's gonna cost, and this is pretty much something you could do yourself, you know. But I mean, it it could look way better. I just I just don't like them being on. They're not they shouldn't be on, bro. But let me show you what's up. So what are you gonna need? So right here is one of the items you're gonna need. Um this one I picked it up for uh $25 on um Amazon. Um you can find it on eBay, they're pretty cheap. And uh, but there's a list of other um scan tools you can use which work with the software that i'm gonna use and pretty much most of you already know the tool i'm gonna use uh right here beamer code this is the app you guys will need this is the app you guys will need um just pay for the full version guys um it's 31 dollars. it's gonna make a world of difference because there's so much more stuff you can do um actually you can even brighten your daytime running light i think it's at like 20 percent or 30 percent and you could brighten it to probably 70 make it look way better you know most of you think you need to replace the bulbs you know just to make your uh daytime light bright but actually you just need to <laughs> code it just brighten it you know there's so much stuff you could code but um be warned do not code many things at once probably do two things at a time or probably one thing at a time but for this video pretty much i'm gonna just show you guys how to take out the side markers and yes this is a e90 um 2009 e90 so um let's get this going so uh crap let's open this real quick uh oh well i'm gonna show you guys the list of scan tools you put you could um, definitely use but uh here it is uh, nothing off the ordinary so as you know um put key in the ignition you know you hear it that weird thing in the sound let me just plug this up on the side right here bam connected all right first stage second stage ignition everything on cool now we're gonna press connect bluetooth well, they normally say you should just look for it first and then connect to it, but I don't think I need to do that. But see, already connected. So um, now we just need to look for our car on the list. So uh, we run in a three series and it's E90. So that's where we need to go. I'll just hit continue. Read in VIN, identifying control units. Uh, it takes some time and the coding process takes some time too so don't rush it uh, i do have some problems here i'm doing hella modifications on the car right now so i have a few problems but hey that ain't that ain't nothing to worry right now all right so pretty much you're in this area right now um what you're going to want to go is in footwell module uh, here it is I'm gotta wait till load. This they they it kind of take a while to load up and stuff, but there is so much things you can do. I'll probably run through a few of them and to show you um half of the stuff you could do, like keyless entry, um, why not your windows with your um your key if you're not able to do it already. Some cars you should be able to do it already. Also, um, pretty much start your car without the key in the ignition. There's quite a few stuff you could do, but that's like sensor related keys like E90. Um, uh, most of the older models, you can't do that too, but still, you know, from E90 going up, you know, it's possible. But, um, da, 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 da. man, this is taking a while. Uh, let me speed this up. All right, so uh, fully up. Um, there's a quite a few things you'll see off right here, and some stuff you can turn on. Those stuff you really don't need. 
Uh, coming down, coming down. All right, so uh, this is daytime light right here. So if you look, you see um, daytime running lights, side markers, boom. You hit that one right there and then you press not active you back out that is one you need to switch that one off and then going down the list there is another one you have quite a few as you can see um you know it's for everything uh let's go down there's another one down here we need to switch off uh, pretty much i just don't like it da 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 where is, where is, where is, where is the us one uh, there's quite a few of them in here. Seatbelt. Uh, ah, right here. U.S. side markers. Now you have people who switch them on. You have people who switch them off. Me, U.S. side markers. Just switch them off. Switch them off completely. So, not active. Bam, one out. And down here, brightness goes at high. Boom, right up here. Off. Bam, back out. And then, uh. Everything else is good. No need for me to brighten everything. It's it's hella bright already. And all you gotta do is press code in the top right here. Bam, code. Uh, it's gonna read some important stuff to you. Please note, blah, 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 process on that code file and just wait. First thing, you can actually code the car while the car is running. Um, I have a brand new battery in the car, so I didn't need to wait on that. So I can pretty much do it without. Um, you're gonna see um the lights flash on a dash a few times probably one or two times and then um the process should complete see see right there so, so, so code in bam so now it's okay switch is off bam switch on i'll oh, just head outside real quick uh turn this I'll take a look at it real quick. There it is. No more side markers. Cold them out. This it's a bit darker, but man, ain't that better, bro? Look at it. Way better. Way better. I wish you guys. I wish you guys could see it like the way I'm seeing it right now. Man, this the man. The car looked mean as hell, bro. It looks so mean. But yeah, it's way better when it's not on. So that's how you code out the side markers, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm gonna put everything in the description that you need where you could buy it. And if you need these headlights, I'm gonna drop them in the description too if you wanna go get them. And even though I only find these headlights in crystal, I had to pull them apart and spray them black. That's not hard. I could drop a video up top right here and show you guys how to do that. but. Thanks for watching. Hope to catch y'all in the next one.